Thanks again for being a part of our virtual family every day. I better get an achievement for this. There we go. You've got your two crocheted shoes on. All morning it's been... Coffee kisses. Yeah. Daddy's using his computer right now without his glasses. He's seemingly not been wearing his glasses frequently lately. He doesn't really know why. Oh, you lost your shoe again. Need your foot. No, I don't need your foot. Okay, 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 okay. How about we do this? We'll just take off the other shoe and see if that helps. Okay, no. Alright, well, let's try to take out the bow then. Does that help? No? Okay. Is she better? This is her moving on her own. Feeding her. <laughs> I knew a little girl who had a little curl right on the back of her head. Where did my morning go? It was siphoned away by a phone call, a very important phone call. And later I'll have another phone call. I'm probably going to have to push the live streams back by an hour. I like doing live streams every day. It gives me some kind of schedule to adhere to. When your life has various chaotic points, sometimes you need a little bit of stability throughout your day. Or week. Or month. Or year. Or decade. Or century. It's kind of hard to believe that I once streamed my workshop 24-7. A lot of people watched me. Do nothing. <laughs> Until I did videos. And then they'd chat. Those were the good old days. We kind of have a chat room going on during the live streams for the people who are able to tune in. I think I communicate with most of you by way of Twitter at this point. I'd communicate by way of any platform, so long as I'm able to communicate with people who like to communicate. That's what the internet's all about, right? Sharing stories and experiences. Welcome to the world's longest light. I was eating some tzatziki and Jedi became fascinated with my facial hair. Remember when I was saying earlier that I was going to be putting off the live streams because of life? Well, it looks like the live streams are going to be put off a little further today because we're running Jedi in to see the doctor. She was kind of fussy, a little more than normal. She was really fussy plus. Agitated. Sounded like she was in pain and nothing could console her. She's better now. She's back there. You hear her? That's Jedi. Right? That was her? Mm -hmm. You weren't just whimpering to make it sound like it was her. Mm. You feel a little better? Yeah, a little. She's still a little off. She's not her usual self. Well, she's probably drained of all the energy at this point. Yeah, but she hasn't fallen asleep today at all. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was a lack of sleep, though, that was causing her to cry like that. No, I think she just can't fall asleep because of some sort of pain she's having. Obviously, she's not experiencing pain at this point, which is good. Right. I'd rather have it that way. But she did have medicine about 15 minutes ago. Medicine for pain. So maybe that kicked in. The car ride might have helped, too. I don't think it was the clothes that she was in. No, we took them off and she was still kind of fussy, but she was really fussy up until the point where we took them off and then she was just a little less fussy. So it may have been the material in the dress that was agitating her in some way. <gasps> well, maybe some parents out there know. Let us know if your babies or kids have reactions to certain clothes. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. 
because as soon as we took it off, she was a little better. But by then, she'd wound herself up. Right. And her skin might still be itchy. Who knows? I praise all parents that have more than one child. I don't know how they do it. First time, first time parents, first time parents. Our little baby may just have had hives. Don't worry, Jedi, we'll burn the dress when we get home. <laughs> Diana was hungry for some ramen noodles and not the type of ramen noodles that you make at home. There are actual ramen noodle restaurants here in the greater Seattle area, so we're going to see if they do takeout. And considering she grabbed a menu, I'm guessing the answer is yes. Ramen noodles tonight. Good ramen. Do you remember what I got the last time? Oh, no. Wait, do you remember? We vlogged it. Do you remember what I got? Is this in English? Oh, no. <laughs> If they have the garlic tonkatsu shoyu ramen, that would be great. Mm, yum. I think I got the spicy ramen last time. And I added corn. Mm -hmm. I remember that. This is where we got the bacon pizza. <laughs> that really wasn't funny. I know. I don't know why I laughed. Neither do I. What should I go in? It's so hard. Should I go with the rice dish? No. With ramen. At a ramen place, yeah, I'd say go with ramen, not at a rice place. Getting rice at a ramen restaurant would be like getting bacon at a pizza restaurant, which I know we did. Living the dream. Remember when Jedi's toe poked out of these PJs? Well, I sewed it, and you can't even tell. <laughs> now you can wear it again. I haven't been able to eat. I've been kind of cleaning up and getting things back in order. It was a little chaotic. Oh, it looks like all the broth absorbed. Oh well, still looks good. I will still eat it. Oh, and I got the corn on the side because I didn't know if Chris wanted to try it. Looks like regular corn. He's doing his stream, so I don't think he'll be able to try it, so I might as well just pour it in. What do you say? You know I wasn't done with my soup, right? <laughs> My broth was all gone, and I saw extra broth in yours, so I was like, I'll just pour it into mine. Why was your broth gone? I don't know. I think it absorbed it from me waiting too long. Jedi? <laughs> are you a part of this crime? <laughs> I even documented it. I said, I got the corn on the side because I wanted you to try it, but you were streaming. Today has been one hell of a week. <laughs> sure you don't want to try the top part? Like, this didn't touch the corn. Yeah, the corn touched the everything. Does it really gross you out that much? Yes, it does. <laughs> hey, baby, you make everything better. Doesn't fix everything, but she makes everything better. Yeah, she does. Has that ever happened to you? Has your partner ever done that to you, knowing full well that you don't like a piece of food? I call foul. I think you did this on purpose. I should start doing it to things I really love. Like if we get a pizza, just pour corn all over it so I get to eat the whole thing. Actually a brilliant idea, Jedi. Hope you enjoy that soup. <laughs> mm. Part of me feels a little guilty. But it's so good. Your broth in there with mine. I think we just made a new one. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, baby. Um, you? You? You're lucky I love you. <laughs> Chris introduced me to Nutella and now I'm addicted. This is what I'm having for dessert. A piece of bread that I toasted and some Nutella. Let me know if you guys like Nutella, and if you do, what do you put it on? Because I need more suggestions than just toast. I can just eat it alone, too. It looks perfect and smells perfect. Ooh, and it's nice and warm. That's what we call a screensaver. It's not as good as a call for help, but it'll do. Thank you, Carlos, for your support.
We appreciate it. You're enabling our caffeine addiction for at least another month. I just did a show and tell video about this beer. There it is. But I talked about it in a different video. Cheers. I better not do that anymore. I don't want to break the glass. Diana. What color is the dress? Is it black and blue or white and gold? Why is everybody talking about this? I don't know, but it's very important. I agree. But some people say black and blue. I know too. They're crazy. Why do people care? I don't either. I think people are making up the fact that it's blue. Llamas. Yeah. I see green. Thanks again for taking the time to watch, like, and share all the videos that we're doing for you every day, everywhere, in every channel, and for interacting with us when you can. We'll see you tomorrow.